Welcome to another tutorial video with Zenata Consulting. My name is Greg Belknap, and today we're going to be talking about departments in Zoho Desk. This comes from a larger full product tutorial that Josh and I recorded in March of 2023. If you find this video useful, please like and subscribe. It helps our channel and also gets you the latest access to our newest videos. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment down below because we have a brand new weekly question and answer show called Azaz, that's Ask Zanata Anything About Zoho, where we look back at any comments left on videos during the last week and answer them in detail for you as a roundtable discussion. Without further ado, let's get Zohoing. Now, departments uh, in Zoho Desk are the way that you can segment your help desk into uh, different major categories that your tickets uh, will be coming in as. The basic question of, well, how many departments should I have? What should constitute a department? Basically, it boils down to every individual email address that you want your customers to be able to send things to each of those emails should correspond to a different department. So say you have a support at mycompany.com for support requests or info at mycompany.com uh, for people that are just kind of wanting to know more uh, about, about your company. Every individual email, that should be set up as its own department. The way that you set up those departments is done in your settings. And then here under the general tab, we have departments. And when you pull up your list of departments, you can see that you'll have a, and when you first open this up, you'll just have one single department. That'll be your support at, and then there's a email that Zoho Desk generates on your behalf. Uh, in this case, it's your username .zohodesk.com. And when you start to set up your email clients to point towards desk, very simply, all you have to do is set up email forwarding to come to these particular emails. So your clients don't need to email support at demo4zanata.zohodesk.com or whatever uh, it auto-generates for you. Rather, if you're using something like uh, Outlook or Gmail, wherever your email client is stored, simply create your support at mycompany.com email address and set up the rules for whatever your particular client is to forward those emails here to this support email. And Zodesk will automatically grab, you know, the person that it originally came from, the subject line, and uh, parse all of that for you. As you want to add additional departments, as I mentioned, if you have a different email that people should be sending requests to and that you can keep those separate, marketing at mycompany.com, uh, repairs at mycompany.com, whatever it may be. You uh, simply name your department, then you have the display name, how the department will appear in the help center. Uh, the help center, we'll get into that a little bit later, but the help center is the portal by which your customers can log in and view any support requests that they've already made or generate new ones. Uh, you can create an individual logo for it. Maybe this is a, a department that shouldn't be displayed in your help center at all and is purely internal. You can simply uncheck this display and help center box and do that. And then you can associate different agents or agent teams to different departments because maybe not everybody has to work in every single department. One thing to note is that once you create a department, a department cannot be deleted. You can uh, set a department to inactive by disabling it. And uh, once you, and then you need to choose where to transfer any outstanding tickets or customers that were previously assigned to that department and then shift them over to say your main department if you're trying to consolidate things. And then you can see your list of any inactive departments and you can reactivate them here. But again, can't delete, can only move from active to inactive once created. Uh, one of the other things that I mentioned was uh, setting up different agents to different departments. 
Uh, one of the easy ways to do that is by setting up your agents into various teams. And the way that we do that, again, we'll go to our setup. And then under users and control, we have agents and teams. So I'm gonna, so first off, let's look at agents just to make sure that you uh, understand. This is where you'll see the list of all of your different agents. Those are those that are working for you, answering these tickets, uh, sending replies. Uh, you have various ways that you can uh, add agents and agents don't necessarily always have to be uh, users in your Zoho organization. You can add people as uh, light agents, uh, for example. And if you're on Zoho One, as our demo account is, you invite different users and you can add them at different, uh, different permission levels depending on how much access to the system your agents are going to need. Uh, in the case of Zoho One, you will need to add the person to your Zoho One organization in order to add them to Zoho Desk. But if you're on one of the individual desk plans, uh, such as standard or enterprise or professional, then you can add agents to that without necessarily making them full level users. So coming back to the uh, agents list, uh, as I mentioned, if we go to the setup and go to teams, here I can organize my agents into different teams that I could then assign to departments. So I would give a team name, choose the agents. In this case, we're on a demo account, so I've only got one to pick from, uh, but you'd be able to pick any number of agents and you can, uh, you can assign agents to a team, not only just by selecting individual agents, but you could also, if you click this little drop down, you could uh, select agents that are a particular role and bundle them into a team that way. That way the team is sort of dynamic. So as you change a user's uh, role or uh, permissions, then they get added or removed from various teams. And then as you see, you can even select other teams. So if you want to make little sub teams and then create sort of parent teams to encompass all of those agents together, you can do that as well. And once you've finished uh, editing your team, we'll go ahead and hit save. And now if we go back to the main page for the teams, you can see up here, I have support. This is one of my departments. So teams are set up on the department level. If I wanted to set up an internal team, then I could add a team to this department. And that'll do it for setting up your agents in the various departments.